with the GHGC 107. Ball and your name Melvin. What up world, it's your man Melvin Taylor, AKA Melvin Taylor I, I, and we are back right here with another video and this time it is for a written testimony by Jay Electronica. Now Jay is one of those artists where I've listened to some of his music in passing, uh, maybe listened to a couple songs like back when I was in college, like almost eons ago at this point in time, just to kind of get a feel for who he is. And obviously he's very talented, right? But he never really drops music because he's always had something going on or because he's focused on something else at that point in time and he never really did. But I all, I'm, I mean, I'm sure Jay Electronica video that everybody's seen is the one where he was at the, I wanna say the Brooklyn Hip Hop Festival and then Jay-Z ended up coming out and how crazy that was, right? Or everybody's listened to, I believe it's Exhibit A at this point in time, at least one time, you know? So I'm sort of familiar and know that he's very advanced when it comes to his wordplay. Top of the top, probably about as good as you can actually get aside from somebody named a Jay-Z, right? So I'm very excited to see what it is that we get in this. Aside from that, y'all know it's crazy out here, uh, out here in New York. Got the hand sanitizer on deck, no corona. We need all of that to be going on. It's crazy how much this has affected society as a whole already. But, you know, even with that being, even with that going on, you still got to be able to live, do everything you can to, to, you know, live your life as best as you can, but make sure that you're taking the precautions necessary to make sure that you and all your people are safe. Now that we got the PSA out the way, let's just go ahead and hop into it. The first song is called The Overwhelming Event. Are y'all ready? Because your boy is. Let's do it. Jay Electronica. Let's go. I don't want to waste any time. Oh, this is Farrakhan. I asked the question to write a... We finna get crazy! Wait. Like any good lawyer, right. and that unto us he will deliver his promise. Okay. One thing about Jay Electronica that I know is that obviously he's a he's a Muslim, and just the the depth of of political, socioeconomic awareness that I'm already feeling. You starting off an album with Farrakhan talking, like it's finna get. We finna get deep into it today. All right, that right there was an overwhelming event. Very good intro into the song. Obviously, you just have Farrakhan kind of speaking at this point, but it just sets the tone for what it is that you're about to get into and pulling you into that world to be like, if you didn't know, know that this is upcoming next. So right now, that was that Ghost of Soldier Slim. Okay, RIP Soldier Slim is what we got going on right here. Negro. I ain't even trying to haul you back, no, you slip. Hold on, hold, start it out. Wait a minute, pull it back, pull it back. You got hove. Yo, who in the world can get, I'm gonna put some Farrakhan on and then have hove come through to start off my album, my debut album? Stop it, bro. Pull it back. Pull it back. Oh, my that little vest ain't gonna do you. I shoot from neck up. Keep going. Hey, let's go, ho. You mouth off to the cameras. I make a silent movie. Stop it. Stop it. Stop it. It's different ways that I get my bags from y'all, man. Stop it. How is he still this good, bro? It's this is this is he is the best ever. 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 Stop it. Jim Crow's a true. No civilization is conquered from the outside to the Detroit itself from within. And, and Jay Electronica gotta go after this, right? If it come from me, oh, consider it Kawhi. If it come from any of those, consider it Kawhi. Maybe that title made to drop bombs. What the f I don't know if y'all heard the Rock Nation bar and the title bar, so we're gonna slightly pull this back. Hey, get just strap in. This video might be my, my kind of long today. I can't to bang with the stylus, and I bet you a rock child I get a bang for my dollar. They going back. They going back and forth? Got it. 
We still got like a whole another minute and a half of the song left, bro. Stop it. This is only the first real song. All right, ladies and gentlemen, that song right there was the Ghost of Soldier Slim, um, the first real song off of Jay Electronica's debut album, The Written Testimony. Um, oh, it's only ten songs on here. I thought there were more. I, it's Jay Electronica. Who am I kidding? Um, do I really need to say anything more about how potent that song? The fact that you start off an album having a fair con speech, right, and then you go into more of the actual speech and how he's tell, talking about how the masters need to be able to deal with him and then you get Jay-Z who's most famously known for owning all the things that he has and owning his masters and then you come in and y'all have a back and forth going like can't nobody else really do this like that nobody else can really do like do this like that at all so this is this is definitely going to be an interesting album as we dive more into it next now we have The Blinding which has a Travis Scott feature this is going to be interesting because I wouldn't expect Travis got to be on Jay Electronica's album ever, but um, it's gonna be dope. So let's see if we get into this. And also, can I just bring up the the whole bar one more time about Soldier Slim as well? Was so I ain't even gonna. Fall. Oh my goodness. Okay, 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 okay. Next song, uh, The Blinding. Let's do it. Is this Swiss? Bro, they're really going back and forth, dog. This is a treat. Don't ever expect this to happen again in life. Don't ever I don't I don't think this is ever gonna happen again. This is this is crazy. Oh my god, okay, okay, okay. Let's actually get into it now. RIP to Prince. Son sir, you gotta call my son sir. That boy already knighted. He ain't even out his rum Oh, Okay, this is where Travis must come in. It's Mr. Headlines. Who signed every contract to miss the deadlines? Mm. 40 days, 40 nights. I'm like, ah, pull it back. Pull it back. You know, your boy got to let you know, hey, bro, you out here sitting on some talent. You know your family need that. They tired of working. What you going to do about it, bro? Let's get into it. Can we also just talk about how that was a nice ass transition? At first, I was like, all right, well, we're about to get here. But having heard how their rap, like what the flow is going on to it, I like it. I like it. Can I real quick just say shout out to the fact that um, Allah is credited as a lyricist and as a composer on uh, on on this track as well. Um, and when I'm looking at it, obviously that was Swiss Beats that was on it early on, but you also had A Rap music and Hit Boys credited to this um, to this track as well. Bro, I was not expecting a back and forth between these two of this magnitude on this album. Like this is. This is really some God tier shit that we, I'm so, excuse me, Lord, I can't use your name in vain. This is something that we ain't never finna get like ever again. So make sure that y'all really appreciate this. I'm also glad, pause that because we ain't starting that yet. I'm also glad at the fact that when I saw the Travis Scott feature, I was like, what are they doing? Because I'm, I'm scared. I don't want Travis on this song like that. Especially when you got two people that's lyrical to the 1% um, within hip hop. And then you're like, we gonna have Travis Scott on there. You're like, what's about to happen? Like, please, please don't mess this up. But knowing these two, especially if I'm going to have Jay-Z on something, it's not going to get messed up in any way, shape, or form. But all right, that was the blinding. Next, we got the never-ending story. Let's see what we get with this. His uptown smile was gold like a Frankie Beverly day. His favorite song from Prince was not Raspberry Beret. Mm. It was... This is this is just not fair, bro. This just... If, if you're too young to know about Bewitched, just go Google that real quick. That's how she used all her powers by twisting her nose back and forth. This shit not fair. Clandestine reverend from the bridge. Oh, with imperial feet. Bro, I'm fully expecting at this point in time for both of them to be on every song. Because, like, what? I was not... Let me just listen to it first. This, this, is, this is crazy, bro. This is crazy. Before I go into Jay-Z's part... Let me just say, I very much appreciate the artistry as well as the storytelling of Jay Electronica, of Jay Electronica, because you know that from listening to past songs of his, that he's able to do it on that level. But we never really got it consistently, right? It's always been like, here's a single here, or here's like three, four songs from back in like 08 or 09 or something like that. But to be able to hear it song after song after song as we are right now, like we only on song four, there's an appreciation that you have because, as I mentioned. The, the, they're both in the top 1% of doing this. Like, nobody else can do this the way in which they have. And if we get this album, 
and it's going to be as good as what it is so far and will continue to be. Jay, please just drop just drop a couple more, bro. Like, don't give us a whole nother 15 years we got to wait to get another album from you. This still your Jesus. I can't tell how they white. That blue eyed virgin is make believe stuff. Facts. Don't keep next. Neither tool can be used. The fix I. They both had straightening cones. Little did they know. I hold the heat neck. Come on, bro. Come on. Gun talk. Let's get it. Facts. Don't give into these Eurocentric beauty uh, trends. Like, fuck all that. You beautiful. Who you are. Facts. Know that. Everybody want to be us for real. We just. Oh, the dream. All right, that right there was a never ending story. Again, appreciate the fact that I can get the storytelling and artistry from Jay Electronica, as well as from Jay Z. Already talked about the tool line, the straightening comb, um, as well as holding the heat close and then the Eurocentric beauty standards. Hit both of those. I love the fact that whenever a Rock Nation project comes up, um, you know how they just kind of sprinkle the dream around like parsley. It's like, all right, bro, we. You know, some people use Jeremiah, some people use Ty Dolla Sign. No, we just got the dream for like whatever it is that we need. Oh, we need a ballad? Okay, the dream got us. We need a hook? Okay, the dream got us. It's, it's so refreshing to be able to hear that because he's also so good at being able to do everything that he can do. It's kind of like just having a cheat code in a sense, like Ryan Leslie almost. Just being like, I could just call you in and just have you do whatever um, at that point in time. It's, it's just great. It's just great. And the fact that Jay-Z is still able to be this good for this long, this is like... No disrespect to Kareem whatsoever, but this is some LeBron type of stuff that nobody's ever done before. Up next, we got the Shiny Suit Theory, which has been out for ages, but I wonder if they might have updated it in some way. I see he's got the Dream featured on here. I can't remember if the Dream was originally on it. Y'all might kill me in the comments for that, but it's whatever. Um, I wonder if they might have flipped something or added something into it, or if Jay-Z might be hopping on it. Again, I ain't listened to the Shiny Suit Theory since like... 2015, 2014, or so it's whatever. Let's just get into it. Man was in this prime. How is he this good, bro? This is not fair. This is not fair at all. And this was what? When this song, when did Shiny Suit Theory come out? My bad, this came out in 2010, 10 years ago. 10 years ago. And he's still this good today. Don't make sense. Alright, that right there was Shiny Suit Theory, Jay Electronica, The Dream, and Jay Z. I feel like there's nothing more that even needs to really be said about this song because we've been listening to it for the past 10 years, pretty much. So. If you don't know, now you know, nigga. And if you don't know, now you know, nigga. Next up, Universal Soldier, J Electronica. Let's get it. Started out as a peasant. Uh -huh. That's why I build my temple like Solomon in the desert. Uh -huh. mm. You ain't keep the same energy for the Dupont and Carnegie's. We was in your cotton fields, now we sitting on beasts. Ah, uh, James Blake on this too. The cons I suffer from pros. Sometimes you just gotta get through the bad shit to be able to get to the good. Keep it going. All right, so Universal Soldier, you got both Jays just right there spitting about how they were able to come into the game and despite all the obstacles that they faced and things that they saw, they were still able to get, get through it to be who they are today. And then even Jay-Z talking about the aspect of y'all not keeping the same energy for all the other people that had to go through the obstacles to get to where we are today, that had to do that back in the day. Like the love that y'all gave them, y'all not giving us, and that needs to be given more often. Okay, Universal Soldier, that's what we got right there. Up next, Flux Capacitor. Maybe we might get something from Back to the Future in this. We'll see what's up. Why would I sell out? I already made. Okay, 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 okay. Ho, we not talking about you just selling out, bro. You know that that NFL stuff was semi suspect, but that's the topic for another day. What's the quote you stole talking about was tighter than what we was? Oh, man. Oh, man. Because you know that is all the wave right now, bro. How many people did not love Kobe in any way, shape, or form, but all of a sudden are doing a whole like, oh my God, he was so amazing. He was so wonderful, blah, blah, blah. Like, say, for example, Jason Woodlock on uh, Fox Sports. It's like, bro, you hated Kobe Bryant. Why are you over here all over him like he was the... Let's just get back into the song, bro. Let's, let's finish. Let's finish. Y'all know I could rant on that for days. All right. 
so the distortion is one thing but then also with jay not hove but electronica off beating and coming back on beat it's a it's a lot to be able to get through it's a lot to be able to get through it's tough it's tough i wish he would have just more so stayed in the pocket with it instead of bouncing back and forth but let's finish the song I can't say this is gonna be some shit that everybody finna play in their cars driving up and down the strip like repeatedly. You you finna hear this sound all whenever people can go back outside again. Why ain't they rap over this? I hate when people be doing this, bro. Why do you it's the same issue that I had when I heard Jesus is King with Kanye, where the entire first three minutes of a song would be one thing, and you get to the last 30 seconds, and it sounded so different, and was like, this is so much better than what you just rapped over. Why did you not rap over this the entire time? And I have to keep that same energy for this right now, because even in these 20 seconds, I love this more than the entire beat that I just heard before. Um, with that being said, the whole Jay-Z NFL thing, it was mad suspect when it first happened because we all are like, what is the ultimate goal of what you're trying to get to? If it's a team at some point in time that you want, okay, cool, we can understand that. But just the whole way that the situation has developed all the way up until this point still feels somewhat suspect. At, at, at best, like, yeah, you'll be able to get some people in to do performances and whatnot, and you'll also be able to help a couple people out with donating money and everything, but... These are all initiatives and drives and sponsorships and deals and whatnot that you could have done without the help of them having to be able to smooth this over. Now, this is not saying that Kaepernick didn't have some things on his end that could have been handled a lot better than what they were, but the whole situation is a mess. I will say that Odell line and tackling could have stayed on the sidelines so that they could have tackled it instead of being on the field was definitely a bar. That was nice. That was nice. Um, But I just... Ah, uh, the Jay Electronica part. Well, I liked this part and thought it was cool, man. The whole rapping off beat wave is not for everybody. And please, please stop doing this. Please stop doing it. There are very few people that can do this, and it's all right. Silk the Shocker being one of them. The fact that he just did it for so long, we just kind of put up with it and was like, this is just who he is. Blueface, I don't think he's going to be around long enough for us to even be able to still hear him doing it. But he stopped doing it as much as of late. It's just something that, it just don't feel right with certain people. I don't wanna hear Jay Electronica rap off beat. I don't wanna hear that. What I do wanna hear is both of y'all rapping over the back end of this beat that we just heard in the last 20 seconds though. Like please, rappers, producers, please stop doing that. Please stop doing that. Like if you gonna switch over to this, make that a whole interlude and somebody give me like a quick eight to 16 on it and then switch to the next song. But don't do this when I'm like, this should have been the song versus what it is that we just heard. While it was nice, the distortion was still so much at times that it took me out of it and had me looking around like, all right, when is they gonna get back to the rap and where is this last part? Come on. I could easily see both of them going back and forth over this. That versus when I die, please don't tweet about my death, death. To get When Jay do it is cool. When Jay Z do it is cool. Jay Lee Do eyes up to my Umi. Maybe it's just because he's he's moving at a slower pace over this beat that is doing this. But it's just like it's it's bothersome how much it's like with everything that's going on in the beat and then having to try and catch up to what he's doing as well. It just it just throws me off to a certain amount. It definitely throws me off. Capacitor. That's the rest of that song. Now let's get over to Fruits of the Spirit and let's see what we get with this. Thank you, my nigga. It's rap on beat, bro. Ah, oh, so much better. So much better. So much better. Pull it back, because that opening line was nice and then he got the Spanish speaker. Come on, bro. It's all love, all Wimbledon with the pen in. Oh my God, bro. Y'all not this good, bro. Just some people just need to don't don't ever try and compare yourself. You're not this good with it. You're not. I liked it. That Wimbledon that Wimbledon line was crazy, and as well as the battlefield line of him being out there and then have the flag, the sword, and then going from the sword to shield, and then fighting for the Lord. And then, oh, that was nice. 
That was nice. Okay, Fruits of the Spirit. That was dope. That was dope. I'm definitely saying so far, Fruits. Dude, can I even really put Shiny Suit Theory as like this is one of the better songs on there? Because we got that like 10 years ago. So it's I'm, I'm really not trying to put it up there that far. Y'all know Flux Capacitor is going to be on the bottom half for me particularly. Not because of their verses, but because of just... The, the, the scheme and the flow on there happened to mesh with the beat as well and in the last 20 seconds it's definitely going to be on the bottom half but Ghost of Soldier Slim the blinding never ending story so far are all really really good to me and that's not knocking Universal Soldier in any way shape or form alright up next um, Ezekiel's Wheel <laughs> was gonna never happen but i survived never land like the jacksons you never swap god dog oh my god whoa whoa oh i thought he was about to say something about peter pan but damn okay bruh did you Going from the Neverland to the Jacksons to him having the gloves and the socks and moonwalking on the couch to being in the light with the with the force. Oh my God, bro! It's not fair. People are not this good. Black steel is on me right now. Cause familiarity don't breed gratitude. Just content. Oh, oh my God. Oh my God! Stop the fucking video. Yo, man. that's a life lesson. Bro. Yo, pull. Let me hear it one more time before we talk about it. Familiarity don't breed gratitude. Just contempt. Good Lord. If you're on Instagram right now, log the fuck off. That's wild. That's wild. But in no way, shape, or form is he lying at all. At all. Think about how many times you've taken so many things for granted just because it's been right there 24-7. And then as soon as you go without it for long stretches of time, you you finally realize how much you need it. And then, shit, you can say that about this whole J Electronica album right now. Like, how many things has he spoken on or how many things has he talked about throughout this album or have him and Jay-Z both talked about in this album that, you know, if it was something that they just kind of, if it was as popular as future songs are, and how they always like, here gone, here gone, here gone. It would go in one ear and go right out the other. But part of the reason of why this is such a big deal and why we are all clamoring to this album and really like picking through it with a fine comb is because we don't get this often. That was nice. Let's keep going. Sometimes I was held down by the gravity of my pen. Sometimes I was held down by the gravity of my sin. Some Sometimes I was held down by the gravity of my pen. I think y'all missed it. Sometimes I was held down by the gravity of my... The, the what I have to put out is, is such a weight for me to put down and then to put out that I can't even... Bro. Oh my goodness. This dude cold, bro. Cold. <laughs> All right, that right there was Ezekiel's Wheel, J Electronica, The Dream, and Jay-Z. J Electronica was doing nothing but giving bars just about life overall, man. I know there's some of y'all that listen to this channel and that watch this channel. Uh, some of y'all own definitely the younger side of things, but me being closer to 30 than I am to 20 now and having gone through so much more life, like some of the stuff that it may seem so simple to y'all right now, but it is just so complex and so hard hitting after you go through more experiences in life man this was this was a very good song at first i started out kind of skeptical because i was like all right it don't seem like jay really finna go in so this gonna be more of a a, a lex song let's see what we get but nonetheless not only was i satisfied i was more than satisfied with the with what with what we ended up getting out of it all right last song coming up next this one is a p i d t a let's do it Man, real talk, RIP to a lot of friends and family that we just don't have around anymore for sure. I contemplate creation. They be glaciers, they be frozen. I don't really get out all the emotions in which I need to to express how I truly feel. So I'm pinning up and holding a lot of this in, a la it being a glacier. Oh man, nice, nice. The salt that heals my wounds, 
All right, ladies and gentlemen, that right there was APIDTA. Very dope way to be able to close out this album as well. Just getting very um, much more emotional um, in terms of how to deal with grief and loss and just being able to process those emotions as men today because it's, you know, sometimes it can be very difficult to be able to find the spaces to really showcase how you feel and to really express yourself and through this song you were able to feel what Jay, both of them were saying, um, especially Jay Electronica and just like how much he misses his mother and, and the, uh, the, the, the emotional range that he has to go through at times to be able to cope with that man. This was, uh, this was very dope. All right. A written testimony, the debut album from Jay Electronica right there, man. I like it a lot. I like it a lot. I like it a lot. Overwhelming event was such a fantastic way to be able to start off the album. And then to the ghost of Soldier Slim to be able to start off having Farrakhan talk and then Hove come in and then you come in and then Hove come in again. The fact that on his debut album, he's going back and forth with Hove. This black as shit. This is black as hell, man. And I'm, I'm all here forward and just their both of their ability to be able to story tell is on another level but the the and this is no discredit to jay electronica but this is his first actual album right the fact that jay-z is still able to do this this well at this point in his career i cannot do anything but give him the gold title and if and if you weren't like close enough to giving it to him before i'm sorry but nobody can really do what he does this well at this point in time in their career and has done it for this long. This is just amazing. Um, but as much as I could go on a tangent about Jay-Z, um, I want to be able to keep it balanced and then again uh, remain on the fact that this is Jay Lex's um, album. Uh, when I dive into it, man, The Ghost of Soldier Slim was obviously dope. Um, this last song that we just heard was dope. Ezekiel's Wheel was nice as well. Felt like you got a risk, like some real life gems were in that uh, fruit of the spirit was cool flux capacitor i like what they were talking about but the beat was just a little much for me at times y'all heard what i'm saying universal soldier shiny suit theory been out the past 10 years never end the story in the blinding bro this album top to bottom was very was very good quality quality album this is something that you know when you have people that are this good at being able to story tell and give you um um um, such a high quality of wordplay. This is something that you're gonna have to play over and over again Not just to be able to hear certain lines that you didn't hear before But to really feel the effects of everything it is that they're saying This isn't something that you can just play one time and immediately walk away from it and be like, oh, I got all of it You know, there are times where you might play this now in the midst of everything that's going on And you might feel one way about it Summertime, everything's gonna be better. You might feel another way about it Fall come you might, you know, another song might come or somebody in your family, you know, God forbid, might might end up uh, being called home to the Lord. And then you go back and you plan this last song to feel the same way in which they were feeling. Right. I like this album a lot. I like this album a lot. This this album definitely has me hype. I'm, I'm, I'm excited about the fact that we finally have a body of work from Jay Electronica to be able to reference because people have always said that he's one of the supreme rappers out there and that was never a doubt in my mind if y'all haven't heard his control verse like yeah he didn't go as long as what Big Sean or Kendrick did but nonetheless within the pocket that he had he still murdered it right but we never had a body of work to be able to compare him to everybody else to but like he said Underground Railroad he had to go through it a different way to be able to make it happen but he's still going to get that validation that he so much seeks just because of how good he is and how consistent he can be and even him talking about how the weight of his pen was um too much to carry at times because of how good he is and how difficult it can be to be able to put things out that also holds him down to a certain extent as well to be like I know I can do this I know I can do that one of the reasons why it takes so long for Nas to put out albums as well man but overall this is great this is great this is great I just had that one mishap um, by being taken out of the song but outside of that I enjoyed it a lot I would love to know what you guys think about uh this album overall probably gonna cut these up and put these out as individual videos just so that way we can get through all of them instead of doing one big video we'll see we'll see how it ends up turning out but man 
With everything going on, I'm going to do some more album and music and movie reviews coming up soon. Please make sure that you subscribe to the channel. Let me know down in the comments below what was your favorite song, what's another song I should react to, and what you thought about this album um, overall. All right? Stay blessed, stay favored. Always stay tailored. If you got a dream, see it through. I'm going to see you next time on the channel, man. Peace and love. Thank you.